There's an increasing demand for access to cultural data in our collecting institutions here in Australia and galleries, libraries, archives and museums have been digitising material that researchers are interested in using. We are however hitting the limits of web infrastructure. Uh, we know that some of the data that's being uh, used is getting bigger and bigger and the web infrastructure that's in place is actually uh, meeting some of that demand but we know researchers want to do a little bit more with data and use tools and we need different kind of infrastructure to support that research. What we're seeing today is Collection um, data being delivered through APIs, cultural institutions are starting to do this and they're providing data through services like GitHub so that people can download it and undertake research or creative activities with it. However, um, we need to, I guess, t step into new space, new kinds of architecture and a, a phrase has been coined in e-research, um, a data bridge, as a concept to illustrate we need to create technical bridges for researchers to either travel through to cultural institutions to use their data in those institutions or for that data to travel out of those institutions through those data bridges into the research infrastructure environment so that researchers can use high performance computing or high resolution data visualization um, services or so they can actually combine quite uh, diverse types of data from different cultural institutions together and currently we actually can't do that. We're opening up a conversation with our colleagues to look at what it might take to make that cultural data available, that big cultural data, through our research network so that researchers can use these tools to do their research. And this is quite exciting but it does mean figuring out how we create that dovetail in terms of infrastructure with our colleagues in the cultural sector. Arnet plays a really critical role here in Australia in uh, underpinning that activity. That critical technical infrastructure is the foundation. And upon that foundation, if you can keep that concept of a bridge, a data bridge in mind, all that traffic that traffic both in terms of the researcher um, getting into a research environment or pulling data into that environment, that all sits on that really important backbone that we rely upon in research and education. But we, can't, we need to extend to some degree that, that traffic and build that bridge so that we can plug cultural institutions into that network. Mm -hmm.